In this video, we're going to learn how to use Git fetch when we're dealing with Git repositories. Welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And to explain Git fetch, we're going to start by taking a look at this repo that I have. And this is one of the repos of the Automate Now GitHub page. This is called Test Repo. And as you can see, this repo only contains a couple of files. One is the git ignore, and the other one is a readme file. And this is what it looks like on GitHub. And down here in this section is the same repo cloned to my local machine. I have the same files as those on GitHub. And on the right, we see the same repo opened up in source tree, this test repo right here. Next, we're going to see what happens when we use this fetch right here. So let's just say that you have two developers. In this scenario, I would be developer one and some other developer would also be making changes to this repo. So let's just say that that other developer went ahead and created a new file and added it to this repo. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna click on this here that says add file and then say create new file. I'm gonna name this file developer2.txt and here I'm going to say developer2 added a new file. And then we're going to scroll down here, and this is the commit section. We can go ahead and add a, a description here and click commit new file. Now notice what the repo looks like on GitHub. We have those two files that we had before, plus the additional file that we just added, developer2.txt. Now this file only exists on the remote branch on GitHub. The local branch does not know anything about this file. And this is where we're going to use git fetch to find out about this other file. So we can use git fetch to learn about new changes that we don't yet have on our local branch. So in this case, we're using source tree. So we have this button right here that says fetch. When I click this button, it's going to allow me to reach out to GitHub to find out if there are any changes to my current repository. If there are any changes, then I'll be able to see that. So let's go ahead and click here. And we're gonna leave this default fetch from all remotes. Then we click okay. And notice what happens here. Now we see a number one next to a down arrow. This means that there is at least one commit in the remote branch that we don't have in our local branch. Another thing that you can notice is right here, this little circle is indicating this is where we are right now. But we have this other commit, the one above here that contains the new changes. As you can see right here, it says create developer2.txt. Let's click this right here. And notice down in this section, we see a green button with a plus sign indicating that a new file was added. This is the name of the file, and we can see the contents of that file as well. So by using fetch, all we're doing is learning about any other changes, but we don't have those changes merged into our local branch yet. Notice that the remote branch up here is showing this extra file, but in my local, I don't have that file yet. That's what fetch did. Fetch only told me that there is a file, but it didn't actually merge it into my local branch. We're going to learn about merging in the next video.